If you want to understand the microservices project flow, then you need to understand the interaction between these seven entities. So the first thing what happens is from the UI, a command is sent to the mediate R. Remember, the heart of microservices project, or I will say rather DDD, is CQRS, right? Command Query Responsibility Segregation. So the first thing what happens is from the UI, a command is sent to the mediate R. Now, every command has a command handler and mediator is aware of it. So he looks at the command, it can be a create command, it can be an update command, and he actually picks up that command handler and sends the message to the handler, to the appropriate handler. The command handler is where all the big action happens. So the command handler, what he does is, first he tries to make an entry into the local database. So he calls the repository and makes an entry into the local DB of the respective microservice. Once the local database is successfully saved, he will then go ahead and talk with the aggregate root and extract the events, that is the event sourcing events and make an entry into the audit table. And once you know the event source database is appropriately successfully saved, he will then make a final call to the queue. Why to the queue? Because it's a microservice application, right? So it can be a queue, it can be an API, but then whatever data he wants to send to the other microservice, he will send it through the queue or through the API. And then finally, everything gets successfully, uh, successfully the control comes back to the UI. And please note, this complete debug step-by-step, -step, I have created a video which I have uploaded on my YouTube channel and that video I am giving down in the comment section. Please go through that video. You will understand better, you know, what I'm saying. And don't forget, I'm coming up with a free webinar for architects out there. Uh, please go and register for the free webinar. And here is a gift. If you go and if you share this video on your LinkedIn, I'm going to go and give you my architecture video for free. So what you have to do is that go ahead and share this video on your LinkedIn profile, right? And send a message to me on my LinkedIn and I will give you the access to the architecture interview questions for free on Udemy.